Hi, good morning guys. I just want to talk to you today about a challenge I ran into yesterday and how I, I dealt with it. Um, so I, I was doing my meditation in the morning um, at 5.30 or 5.45 and my son arrived into the kitchen where I was doing it. And uh, he's obviously not supposed to be up at that time. He wouldn't go back to bed. He wouldn't do anything I asked him to do. To make a long story short, I got very frustrated and the only way, the only tool I had for, you know, to get him to do what I needed him to do was was to, to raise my voice and to get, you know, a little bit, um, you know, strict with him and maybe go so far as to say get a little bit angry with him. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, so I, I did that and eventually I got what I needed at that point. But I was very frustrated. And when I went out for my... Um, for my run it was kind of weighing on my mind and I said okay that's all, it's okay I'll go on my run and by the time I come back it'll be gone but it wasn't and um, I just couldn't get out of my head and when I came home then he wouldn't eat his breakfast and then he wouldn't get dressed for school and all this stuff and it just got worse and worse so um, you know and I thought about um, okay well when I you know when I do my meditation and I use the Headspace app there is a video there that talks about uh, you know stress and and um, and explains that there's blue sky all the time and stress comes in. So the clouds kind of cover that blue sky, but the blue sky is always there. So it's not that it goes away, but you just have to find it. Right. So I, I was trying to think about that and saying, well, OK, let me let me do that. But it just for some reason wasn't working. And so then I thought about something that my wife had said to me and she talks about sometimes you've got to live in the shadows. And what she means by that is that sometimes you've just got to like accept the, the difficult things that maybe you don't like about yourself or about a situation or whatever it is um, so that you can move on from that. And um, so I thought about that a little bit. It was, I was At this point, I dropped Max to school and I was on my way to work. And um, and I started to think about that on, on my way to work. And I realized, you know what? Yeah, so there is, let me just acknowledge that there is this frustration here. And uh, so as I was getting close to, to work, I, I acknowledged that, right? There is, that's there. And but I don't need to deal with it emotionally. I mean, deal with it. I don't mean to engage with it emotionally. So I just know what's there and that's fine. And I'm not trying to get rid of it. Just it's there. That's OK. And that allowed me then to find that blue sky and it allowed me to find that calm. And so by the time I get into the office, the frustration was there, but it wasn't bothering me anymore. And I was perfectly able to 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 get into a calm situation and, and work away fine for the day. So. I just wanted to share that with you, you know, so first of all, stuff is going to happen that you can't control or you don't know how to control. Um, secondly, when it happens, I think the thing is we need to acknowledge uh, that it's happened. And then thirdly, we need to just find that place of calm so that we can detach ourselves from that emotionally. It's not going to drive our day and we drive our day ourselves, not that not that emotion uh, that, that got started in the morning for me, in that example. So um, so that's kind of what I want to say to you today. But then the good news is that uh, this morning when I woke up, uh, I got up at 5.30. My son was already up this morning. But yesterday I had done a little bit of research on, you know, how to kind of get what you need from, from kids around his age uh, without, without this kind of, you know, getting, getting angry with them, you know, because that's kind of the way I was brought up, you know, um, and that's the only way I, I knew how to deal with it. And uh, and so I did find, you know, a couple of good articles on it. And so today I tried out some of that stuff and the two of us had a really calm morning. No problem at all. I said to him today when, when he was uh, getting ready to walk in the gate of school, I said to him, so how was this morning? Do you think it was a lot calmer this morning? He said, yeah, no, this morning was a great morning. The two of us got on really well this morning. So, um, you know, so there are solutions to that too. But I mean, back to the main thing I want to talk about, you know, stuff is going to go wrong. Uh, it's going to weigh on your mind. You just acknowledge that it's there. Find that calm space and don't let that stuff drive your day. Thanks. Talk to you soon.